today we will look into how to estimate the selling price and profit associated with a product. In the previous classes, you might have seen the table showing the various distribution of the cost associated with the product. For example, profit, selling cost, uh, etc. in direct labor, direct labor, direct material estimation, etc. Now here, for more convenience, we will distribute them into percentages. For example, if the product uh, price is like $100 or something, we will distribute them into percentages. For example, 8 percentage, which means $8 will be uh, related to the direct labor. Uh, likewise, for different type of expenditures, we will have different proportions in terms of percentages so that you know it is much easier to deal with the numbers. Now the question will be something like as shown here. Uh, you'll be given a table on the left with various distributions of the cost. At the same time, it will be, you'll be asked for estimating uh, one of the component by given the other component. Uh, for example, the question says assume that the standard time for an operation can be any operation uh, which ha has been determined as 11.853 minutes per unit. That is the time standard. Workers are paid almost $17 per hour. Based on the given information, you have to calculate the following. One is the direct labor cost for one unit and the selling price of the product. So let's take a look at the first one, the direct labor cost for one unit. Uh, the, given the time standard is in minutes per unit, wage is in dollar per hour. So you may have to change one of the quantities, probably this one to hour per unit or this one to dollar per minute. So here uh, I have switched this one from hour to minute. So you need to divide that by 60. So wage, which is $17 per hour, will become dollar .0 uh, per minute. So once you have this quantity, you just need to multiply them together. So that will multiply minutes per unit into dollar per minute, and minute and minute will cancel, so you'll get dollar per unit. So that's how you estimate the direct labor cost per unit. And uh, the selling price, if you look into the table, you'll see direct labor cost is 8% of the total selling price. So if the selling price is 100%, then the direct cost is only uh, direct labor cost is only 8% of it. So you may have to formulate that using an equation. So uh, from this table you can say that direct labor, which is DL, is equal to 8% of the selling price. Now if you want to find the selling price, you just need to rearrange the equation. So bring the SP to the other side. So SP will become equal to DL divided by 8%. And DL is the direct labor cost, so you can substitute this over here. 8% is basically 8 by 100, which is 0 0.08. So that way you will get the selling price of the product. Now, how to estimate the profit? Again, uh, the similar table will be given, and the question will be, Assume that standard time from all the operations in the facility has been determined as 72 minutes per unit. Workers are paid $15 per hour. The product is sold for $120. So unlike the previous problem here, you have the selling price of the product. Per day, 120 units are sold. Based on the given information, calculate the following. One, the annual cost of the company for advertising of the product which is this component as shown here, which is 25, 21% and the second part is estimate the annual profit of the company. So the annual profit will be 6% of the annual revenue and so we'll take one by one. So I made a small change here instead of 120 units, we, I'm going to change that into 150 units so you won't get confused with this 120 and this 120. Uh, so annual production, so every year 150 unit multiplied by 365 days, we assume that you know it is 365 unlike the leap year, uh, so it's going to be around 54,750 units produced annually and the total revenue will be uh, that times multiplied by the unit cost which is $120, so that accounts for around six point five seven million so when you do the uh, calculations in 
blackboard assignments i recommend you to leave the number as it is do not convert that into millions or do not round it off so we found the first step which is the total revenue per year for the complete company so that means you know the the money that is coming to the company by selling all the products so from that we can start estimating the advertising cost which is actually the 21 percentage of the selling cost or we mean can say the revenue so 21 percentage of the 6.57 million is basically 1.2 1.38 million so that's the annual advertising cost and the annual profit is again straightforward uh, you can get it get it from the table which is six percentage you multiply that by the uh, revenue you will get around 390k so sorry 394k so this is how you estimate the profit and you know different cost associated with uh, the, the the product